friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Connie, for those of you who don't know. And today, as you can see from the title, we're going to be decluttering. I just want to say, this might seem like a lot of highlighters to some people, but I have accumulated these over the past couple of years, and I do spend my own money on my makeup, so I'm not trying to brag at all. But I just wanted to show you guys um, me decluttering my highlighter collection today. So for the most part, these are the single highlights that I have. I have these three highlights that are in my everyday makeup drawer that I'll go through really quickly, but I'll definitely be keeping these three to start with. The first highlight I have is the Natasha Denona Super Glow, and this is in the shade Super Glow. And this is what it looks like there. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. Sorry if you can hear background noise. Um, that would be people in my house. The next highlighter that I have is by Essence. It's their Pure Nude Highlighter and Be My Highlight. And this highlight is absolutely disgusting. And I just keep using it. <laughs> I probably should get a new one, but it's not weird or anything. It still seems fine to me. My just declutter this and actually get a new one to replace it so that way it's better but I love this highlight so much it's such a natural sheen but it looks so beautiful so I'm just gonna declutter this one but know that I am absolutely obsessed with this highlighter and I love it the next highlight that I have is by Hourglass this is their ambient lighting powder in the shade luminous light this is what the inside looks like and kind of reminds me of the essence one as well where it's just super subtle and you can barely see them both you would have to just like see it on skin I guess that's why swatches don't really work too well but I am going to keep this one for sure sorry if my throat sounds really scratchy I have no idea what's going on <laughs> I just woke up and that's I just started sounding like that the next part I think I'm going to tackle is like all of my wet and wild ones right here so I do have quite a bunch I have these two that were a limited edition this one is in the shade the sweetest bling I know I'm going to declutter that one. This one is in the shade Lilac to Reality. This one is really beautiful. I have used it before, but I think I'm going to keep this one in the maybe pile and compare it to another one that I have. This one is from a limited edition collection as well. It's the one with like the skulls and stuff on it. It's a very pretty duochrome, but I don't reach for this, so I'm gonna just pass it along. The next one I have is also from the Skeleton Collection. It also is a nice, like, white, green, shift duochrome highlighter. I don't know. I do have another duochrome highlighter that's white, so I don't think I'll be keeping this one. I'm just gonna pass this one along. And now we're down to these two Wet n Wild highlights. Honestly, I think Golden Flower Crown is too dark for me. Yeah, Golden Flower Crown is too dark for me. I think Blossom Glow should be good for me. Yeah, honestly, I think I'm just gonna pass them both along. I don't need, <laughs> I, I don't need these because I don't really reach for them that much. So I'll just pass these both along. The next highlighter I have is from Makeup Obsession. Makeup Obsession is a brand you can find in Target and I feel like this color that I have might be way too dark for me, so I'm just gonna pass this one along. So the next highlighter I have is by Laura Geller, and this is in the shade Ballerina. I thought I liked this highlight, but I guess I haven't gotten any use out of it. Yeah, it definitely is way too dark for me. It looks more of like a blush topper, if anything, or like a bronzer topper. So I'll just pass this one along. The next highlight I have is a loose highlighter by Wet n Wild. So this is what the Wet n Wild one looks like. I'm just going to swatch it and see if I like it. Oh, that one is so pretty right there. Okay, I, I'm definitely going to keep the Wet n Wild one. This one was in the shade I'm So Lit, by the way. The next highlight we have is also by Wet n Wild, and this is in the shade You Glow Girl. And compared to I'm So Lit... It's a lot more pink. So this is the Wet n Wild highlight in New Glow Girl. It definitely looks beautiful. It's just like a pinky color. You know, I think I'll keep it for now and if I don't use it in the future, I'll definitely declutter it. The next highlight that I have is by Soap and Glory. This is the Glow All Out powder. And honestly, it doesn't really look like a highlight, right? But one day I ended up using it and I just don't know how to explain it. I use it as a blush 
and it was super glowy on my cheeks it looks like a chalky powder but on my cheeks it there was a lot of glow so that was the only reason why I wanted to keep it because I remember I loved my makeup so much that day I'm just gonna keep this and then if I don't use it, then I'll definitely pass it along. The next thing I have is the e.l.f. Shimmer Highlighting Powder. This is in the shade Straight Glow. And honestly, I don't remember liking this at all. It's super chalky. It, I mean, obviously you have to see what it looks like on the face, but I don't know. I'm just going to pass this along just because I know I haven't reached for it in a long time. This highlight, I have like a love-heat relationship with this highlight because I have tried to declutter this specific highlight so many times so like I'll put it back in my collection and I really don't know. It's very pretty to be honest. Maybe I just need to try it. <laughs> I don't know. I had it for a while and then put it in my declutter box and then put it back in my collection and then put it back in the declutter box. I really don't want to say it but Maybe it's going to stay this round again one more time, and if I don't use it, I'll I'll let go of it. The next highlight that I have is by e.l.f., and this is their white gold highlighter. And I remember there was, like, so much hype about this highlight. So I'm going to declutter this e.l.f. one now that I think about it. I'm also going to declutter this pixie one, finally. The next highlighter that I have is a loose highlight, and this is the Wet n Wild Bretman Rock collab. So one side there's like a pinky one, and then the other side is like a gold champagne one. And I love the gold side, so I'm definitely going to keep this, and I love Bretman Rock. The next loose powder I have is by Cody Airspun, and this is in the shade Snow Much Ice. And if I tr reach for a loose highlighter, typically it's this one, so I am going to keep this. The next Laura Geller highlighter we have is in the shade Fairy Dust, and I'm just going to keep this. I absolutely love this highlighter. The next highlighter we have is by Physicians Formula, and this is in the shade Champagne. And I have not tried any of the butter highlighters by Physicians Formula, and this one is definitely way too dark for me right there. So I'm just going to pass this one along to somebody who could use that. The last loose powder I have is this Baby Sample by Artist Couture. And this is in the shade Coco Bling. And I'm definitely going to be keeping this. I love it. It's so beautiful. The glitter gets everywhere, but honestly, I don't mind. The next highlight that I have is this cream highlighter. This is by The Beauty Crop. And it was so beautiful. I don't know. Maybe I will keep that, actually, after swatching it. It's a very natural glow. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep that <laughs> so the next highlighter that I have is by wet n wild and this is one of their new duos this is an after sex glow and I'm definitely gonna keep it for sure you guys can tell that I've gotten a lot of use out of it so I'm definitely going to be keeping this the next highlighter I have is by NARS and this is in the shade albatross and I've never used it I don't know why I keep keeping it in my collection um, I'm just gonna declutter that the next highlight I have is also by Laura Geller and this is in diamond dust and this is such a pretty duochrome highlight like it's a blue purpley pinky shift and I think it's so beautiful so I'm definitely going to keep this one for sure. Right here I have two of my Joy highlighters. This one is in the shade Citrine. You can tell I've gotten a lot of use out of Citrine. And I'm absolutely obsessed. And then the other shade I actually used for a shockingly long amount of time. It's called Rose Quartz. And it is a pretty pink shade right there. So I'm definitely going to keep these. I love the Jouer highlights. The next thing I have is a Kylie highlighter. And this is in the shade Queen Drip. I honestly don't remember the last time I used this highlighter. I don't know. It feels really dry. I'm just going to pass on this highlighter. The next highlighter that I have is by Fenty Beauty. And it's in the kilowatt shade with lightning dust and fire crystal. I got this while I still lived away at college so I used so much out of it and I'm definitely going to keep it because just because I think it's good and I have so many memories with it so I'm definitely keeping this one for sure. The next highlighter I have is by MAC. This is in the shade Happy Go Dazzlingly. This came out for a holiday one year and I really did like this highlight 
color. I remember getting along really well with it. I just haven't used it in a while because I have so many highlighters. I think I'm going to keep this one for now. And then if I don't end up using it, I'll declutter it for sure. This highlight right here is amazing. This is in the shade Show Gold. It's by MAC. And this has such an interesting duochrome like shift. It's like pink, yellow... I don't even know what you, you would call that. I guess that's the gold you can see. It's like a pinky gold shift. It's so beautiful. I'm definitely going to keep that because I do like that every time I wear it. The next one right here is in Double Gleam. And this is just your typical champagne-y gold highlight. And I think it's so pretty. So I'm definitely going to keep that one for sure. The next highlight I have, if you've watched any of my videos where I sit down and do my makeup, you know that this shows up a lot. This one is such a beautiful highlight. This is by Estee Lauder and this is their Heat Wave highlight and it just looks so beautiful to me. Like all the colors mixed together and the design is insane. You can use the gold by itself or you can use the pink shimmer by itself but together I think they look so beautiful so I'm definitely going to be keeping that one so last I have all of my Becca highlights this is Prosecco Pop this is back when Jaclyn Hill made her collab with Becca and so I also have Champagne Pop right here and they look pretty similar to be honest. I don't know if I can get myself to get rid of my Becca highlights. This one I might be able to get rid of. This is in the shade Rose Quartz. Again, it's so pretty though. They're always so soft and beautiful. This one is in Vanilla Quartz. I think that one's so beautiful and then this one is opal but it's in a limited edition breast cancer awareness packaging so I think first I'm definitely gonna keep opal for sure and this one is the ocean glow highlighter I haven't tried it out yet I haven't opened it but honestly I think it's so beautiful I feel like this is something you would just keep to keep and I don't know I think I'm gonna keep this one just because it is very unique and I think it's so beautiful I think I'll just declutter this one right here this one is in the shade rose quartz so yeah I'll just declutter one that makes me feel better So now we're going to work on decluttering our highlight palettes. I'm just going to go really fast between all of this. So the first one I see is this Ofra Nikki Tutorials Highlighting Trio. And I'm definitely going to keep this because I don't really have anything like this. And I haven't gotten much use out of this. So I'm definitely going to keep this one for sure. But before I grab this, I literally dropped it and shattered it. So this will probably go in the trash or go into the declutter already. The next palette I have is by Bobbi Brown. And this is so beautiful. I don't think I could ever get rid of this. Like, I don't think I could ever get myself to get rid of this. So I'm definitely keeping this one for sure. The next two palettes I have here are by Lime Crime. And... I honestly, for the absurd colors that are in here, I definitely get a lot of use out of the colors and so I'm definitely going to keep them. I get more use out of this one right here for sure. So that's why I was looking at the Sweat n Wild highlighter and seeing if I needed to keep it or declutter it. I don't know. I'm going to swatch them to compare, I think. <laughs> that was a weird place to swatch, but the bottom one is the Wet n Wild one, and the top one is the Lime Crime one. They're very different purples, but honestly, I don't know. I, I feel like I would much prefer to keep the Lime Crime one, so I'm going to keep both of these Lime Crime palettes, and then I'll be getting rid of this Wet n Wild highlight. Okay, so I was just thinking and I realized I was missing more highlighting palettes, so hmm, this might, may or may not change the end result here. So the first palette I have is the Babe in Paradise by Morphe and Bretman Rock. I just love Bretman Rock. Even if I don't use this palette, I'm just going to keep it because I love it that much. Like, I just love Bretman Rock. The next palette I have is by Bobbi Brown and this is what the palette looks like. I just love Bobbi Brown's highlights and I'm just gonna keep this one for sure. The next thing I have is the Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade Gleam. And I used to love this when I was younger, but to be honest, I don't see myself reaching for these anymore. So I'm definitely just going to be passing along this. 
The next thing I have is by Too Faced. I bought this pre-quarantine and I thought like it would be good, but it kind of isn't. But I kind of want to feel like I need to give it more time to, I don't know. I just need to play around with it a little bit more to see if it, it's actually bad. I think it's bad, but I need to look it firm. So I think I'm just going to keep this just so I can keep playing with it and then see if I actually don't like it. This right here is by MAC and I think I saved it because it was just like a really nice like all-in-one like blush bronzer highlighter. I think I'm okay to pass this one on. Now I don't know. This one is a highlighting palette by Glam Glow and I was really excited to get this but I guess when I got it finally it just I don't know how to explain it it was just like not that exciting I don't know someone else could just have this palette by Glam Glow I know the next thing I want to keep for sure is this highlighter by Kristen Leanne I'm obsessed with the middle shade so yes I'm definitely gonna keep this one the next two things we have are the hyper real glows I remember I told everybody in my family to buy these because I thought they were so good and I remember my sister hit pan on one of them completely I feel like I don't need both. I would like to have both, but I feel like I don't need both. I'm going to see if my sister wants this, the golder version of it. And then I'll keep the peachier version of it. Because I don't think it says their names on the back. So I'm just going to keep the peach one and see if my sister will want the gold one right there. Next palette I have is by Makeup Revolution. And... I love these highlights and Juicy Jazz talked about this palette in particular but honestly I don't support Makeup Revolution anymore so I'm just gonna declutter this palette for sure even though it was beautiful there's nothing wrong with the products in it if you are looking for an affordable option for highlighters these kinds of palettes would be really good for you but I just I just don't get along with <laughs> Makeup Revolution. So I'm going to pass this one along. And then the last two palettes we have are by Becca. You guys know from my first declutter that I love Becca. I haven't tried any of these and I have been into colors and stuff. This is the Ocean Jewels Highlighter Palette. And I don't have anything like this in my collection. So I think I am just going to keep it. I'm just going to keep it. Okay, and then this palette is very cute. It has Crystal Gold, Champagne Pop, Capri Coast, Flower Child, and Snapdragon. So I think since I decluttered some blushes in my blush declutter, I think I'm just going to keep this because I feel like this is such a perfect palette to travel with if I ever end up traveling again. So I think I am going to keep this. So now I'm going to show you guys everything I'm keeping and everything that I'm getting rid of. Unfortunately, I just dropped this highlight, so I'm going to have to throw it out. And it makes me so sad because I didn't even get to use it yet. So yeah, we're going to get rid of another, another highlight. Okay, so that is everything that I am getting rid of. Altogether, I'm getting rid of 24 highlights. I'm not counting the palettes individually. I'm just counting everything as a whole, like this as one. So altogether, I'm getting rid of 24 highlights. And here is everything that I am keeping, including everything, palettes and highlights. I am keeping 31 altogether. And I decluttered 24, which isn't quite 50%, but I do feel like I did a good job because these are products that I know that I'll be reaching for and getting a lot more use out of. So now that I put these into here, I'm definitely going to have more room when I put it all back into the drawers. Originally, I was planning on keeping an extra Becca highlight, but you guys saw that it broke. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> I feel more comfortable with everything that I have now. So that is everything for today's video. Thank you for all the support on my last declutter, on my blush declutter. I really appreciate everybody that commented or gave me suggestions. So yeah, that is everything for today's video and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you. Bye.